Now let's have another example on the separable differential equation. So let's say here, example number two, assume that we have x squared y prime equal one plus y. Knowing this equation is separable, find the solution. Now we start with changing the y prime to its original form as a dy over dx. The equations becomes x square dy over dx equal 1 plus y. Now we want to separate the equation. The question is telling us this equation is separable. So we put the y related factors on one side of the equation and the x related factors on the other side of the equation. So from that we will have 1 over 1 plus y dy equal 1 divided by x squared dx. As we said before, next step, you integrate after you separate the equation, the y's and the x's on separate sides of the equation, you take the integration for both sides. Taking the integration for the left side and the integration for the right side gives you ln the absolute value of 1 plus y equal minus 1 over x plus constant k. In order to get rid of the ln in here, we need to take both sides of the equation e to the power of these values so that we can get out the value of 1 plus y. So doing that, e to the power of ln the absolute value of 1 plus y equal e to the absolute e to the power of minus 1 over x plus k. This term is the power of the e. This will conclude that the absolute value of 1 plus y equal e to the power of k multiplied by e to the power of minus 1 over x. And this can be considered any constant, let's say constant a, because e to the power of a constant is a constant. So let's say it is a multiplied by e to the power of minus 1 over x. Now in order to get rid of the value, in order to get rid of the absolute value of the 1 plus y, we can say that 1 plus y equal plus or minus a multiplied by e to the power of minus 1 over x, which is this one. Again, plus or minus a can be considered any constant b. Knowing that, the equation becomes 1 plus y equal b e to the power of minus 1 over x. So, y equal minus 1 plus b e to the power of minus 1 over x. And this is our final solution of the current equation.